Hey guys, Sergio here with Syndicate Off-Road, testing our new Overland trailer and making sure that it has the Syndicate stamp of approval. We're just making sure that it's safe and that it handles well, that it tows well, that it gets through the obstacles, even that it climbs well. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna put the trailer to the first obstacle test. I couldn't feel the rig behind me going up, nor could I feel it coming down. It didn't do anything to my rig. We're actually out here doing some testing on our brand new Overland trailer. Checking out the articulation of the trailer, actually the speed as well, and uh, it's, it's going pretty well. Watching this trailer perform out here has been very exciting. Just watching the way it can bounce through anything. Um, we hit a couple offshoots and you know, watching it just flex a little bit. Trailing behind the Jeep has been pretty amazing to watch. When we were first building this, uh, putting the frame together and stuff, you know, you start to think about weight distribution and you start to analyze all these different factors, independent suspension and uh, straight axles, things like that. And the biggest fear for me was, you know, how is it going to handle on the freeway? I didn't know if when I was doing 55, 60, um, it was just going to kick all over the place and things like that. But I'm, I'm just so happy right now. You have no idea at the fact that it's just doing so good. It's not just now for Jeeps and trucks. It's, it can be for anyone. Minivans, you know, small Subarus. As we already know right now, families are really, you know, this is their next big thing is they're getting rid of the big RVs because who can afford a $90,000, you know, toy hauler when they can have just as much fun, if not more fun with one of these and go out there and overland and camp and not worry about where they're gonna sleep, you know, how they're gonna cook, things like that. Man, so what a day. What'd you guys think overall? I mean, I was super surprised because I didn't think, I mean, half of the obstacles that we were going up today, I did not think it was gonna perform the way it did. So I, I think I liked how much, like the, the height of the axles are perfect because it gives it so much clearance. Mm -hmm. So when you're traveling yes. over the obstacles, it looked like the Jeep was struggling more than mm. the actual trailer. Really? So. From your perspective? Oh yeah. It looked like the Jeep was having a hard time. Have, the trailer had no issues. At no point did I feel the trailer fighting me. And that's what I was most excited about because even on the freeway, especially on the freeway, you know, when you're building the trailer and when it's getting welded and when you're, you know, kind of picking and choosing, you know, all that stuff, you wonder, I mean, how is it gonna, you know, is the balance gonna be proper? Is the axle properly placed? You know, is it wide enough? Is it gonna strong enough? But overall, before we got on the freeway, I was like a little worried. I didn't know if it was gonna, you know, wiggle on me or what it was gonna do, but I was so pleased. It just, it, it was like butter. I didn't even know the trailer was back there. Any no. obstacle really? you went over, it, it followed behind. Even That's when awesome. I was spotting you on that uphill with all the shoots and everything, I was telling him, watch the trailer from the back, and he was like, the trailer's fine. 